Welcome to this NPro tutorial. In this video, I would like to show you how you can use the map visualization in NPro. Let's dive into it. Um, let's create a new project. And uh, in this map, I will go into one of the uh, one of the districts here. And let's say we would like to plan something for this district. Uh, we can um, define an area here for data retrieval. So if you would like to import building data, uh, we can now draw a shape into this area. Um, if we would like to also import the building routes, we should um, activate this checkbox here. If we are only interested in the buildings, we can go uh, only with the first checkbox. Uh, we can click now on this uh, area and it will import the uh, polygons of the buildings, as well as some uh, basic parameters. We can also add our own buildings. So if we say, OK, there's another building that we would like to uh, add to this map, we can uh, do that. Um, the first one that we add is uh, by default always the energy hub, um, but we can, of course, also add other buildings and change also the energy hub afterwards. Uh, the second step uh, is then normally to draw the pipe network. So if we click on draw pipe, we can now click with the left uh, click here um, along the street, for example, and say this is one option to uh, have the uh, network. But we can also uh, draw other shapes so we can start from uh, from here and then say, OK, there should be another route here. Um, and we can also um, yeah, draw whatever we want. So um, we can start from, from a corner or we can um, um, start from, from, an, um, from free area and then connect the network. There are many different possibilities how you can um, draw these uh, pipes into the map. Um, if you do not have an area which is already inside the open street map, um, but maybe you are here on a green field, uh, then you can import data if you have a georeferenced file. So, for example, a GeoJSON, GeoPackage, or a shapefile. Uh, Excel and CSV is also possible if there's uh, polygon data in there. Um, and then you can directly import data for an area that has no data from uh, OpenStreetMap yet. Mm, you can then uh, connect different buildings. So if you make a left click on the uh, building, then you can say uh, connect to network. Um, then it looks for the smallest distance. In this case, this is here the this connection pipe. Um, if you um, mark uh, multiple buildings, so if you do a right click on multiple buildings, then uh, you can click on connect to heat network as well. And then it will connect multiple buildings directly to the network. Um, you can also draw a, a connection. Um, so if I click again on draw pipe, and then you say, OK, from this um, network pipe, I want to have a connection line into the uh, to the building. Then you can click here directly into the building, and then it will also connect the building. And you always see that it's connected by this red line, so the connection lines are red, and the other lines are, or the other pipes are uh, gray. Um, so if we go through the other functions, uh, for example, if you click with the uh, one time on the in one of the buildings with the left uh, with the left click. Um, then you can uh, see the basic information about the building. You can click on edit building um, and change all the parameters of the buildings in detail. You can say uh, show building details. Uh, then you get some additional information um, that is calculated. Um, you can download data for the building as an Excel sheet. Uh, you can disconnect uh, the building from the network. If you click here, then the connection um, is uh, disappearing. And if we say connect again, then we have the connection. again. Um, if you want this building to be the energy hub, you can click on energy hub, then this becomes the red building so the energy hub building. And if you say deselect, then it becomes gray again. Um, you can also delete buildings. So if you say, OK, this building, uh, I don't need this one, then you can click on delete building. 
Um, and the other option, how you can delete buildings is with the uh, multi-select tool. So um, if you have um, multiple buildings uh, with the right click, you can mark many or multiple buildings. Uh, then you have here on the right hand side a different menu uh, menu um, you can click on edit all four buildings at once um, with the district wide changes that you can do um, you can say okay please connect all the buildings to the network um, you can also say disconnect them uh, download the data for these four buildings and you can delete the four buildings so if you say um, I don't need these buildings, you can click here and then it will ask you, okay, it's more than one building, then it will ask you, okay, are you sure that you want to delete these buildings? The same is possible for the pipes. If I, uh, or maybe one remark, so if you make a double click on one of the uh, buildings like that, then it will also open the uh, main uh, parameter view. The same is possible for the pipes. If I make a double click here on one of the pipes, then it will open up the settings for the pipe. Um, and if you do a left click, then you uh, end up with the basic uh, information here in the menu. Um, you can click on edit network section, um, the red button, um, and change the parameters as well. Um, and you can say delete network section, and then this section will be gone. If you click with the right, click on multiple buildings uh, on multiple pipes uh, then uh, you see here the uh, multi-select menu um, so if you want to change multiple buildings at once you can click on edit three pipes and then change the diameter for example for all the pipes at once um, and um, yeah that's a, these are the options um, if you want to select the buildings in a different way, there's one additional way to do that. Um, so you can click on polygon and then mark um, some buildings uh, with this polygon tool. Um, and in this case, we have three buildings marked and the same uh, is possible for the pipe. So if you want to uh, mark multiple pipes with this polygon function, then you can draw the polygon here, and then you will have selected the, uh, the pipes inside the polygon. You can also mark all the network, all the buildings, for example, um, as well as all the pipe sections in the map. Um, that's also possible. Mm. So there's uh, one thing I would like to show you as well. Um, if you want to visualize the data, you can use these drop down fields here. So if you want to visualize the floor area, um, that's that's possible. For example, you can also hide the label if you only want the colors. You can click on this uh, function here to hide the label and you can also hide the unit uh, label. Um, then you can click here. And one remark, so if you change the building, uh, for example, the heat demand, and then you visualize the building on the map, uh, then you should always first do the calculation. So you can use this refresh button here or use the calculate district button um, to update the, the data that is shown in the map. You have different background maps, uh, OpenStreetMap, Google Maps, uh, uh, neutral background, and you can also um, show the connection points um, of the buildings as well as the network to double check what you just uh, draw in the map. Mm. And one last tip, uh, if you have, for example, the OpenStreetMap uh, activated and you maybe you uploaded data or something and you don't know which data is on the map or you don't you don't have any orientation, you can click on project data, so one page before and then back on district, then it will zoom into the district that you have here, and then you can directly find, okay, which buildings do I have on the map? All right, uh, I hope that uh, helped you a little bit uh, for the first steps of using Entro and the new uh, map functionality. Uh, if you have comments or questions, please um, put them below the video in the comment section. 
And um, if you have feedback, of course, uh, let us know. It always helps us to improve our tool. Thank you very much and see you next time.